Today we're looking at Natural Reader. This is a free text-to-speech program. Um, it's available for both Mac and Windows for free. This is the Windows version which we're going to be looking at today. So if I open it up first of all on the Welcome Natural Reader page which you initially open up on. So basically anything within this pane, either you've pasted in, written, so on, can be read aloud. Now, with the free software, you do only get one voice, which is US David. Um, so I'm just going to set him to that so you can have a little bit of a listen. So once text is within here, I can just pop my cursor where I want it to start reading from and then hit the play at the top. Welcome to Natural Reader Text-to-Speech Software. Natural Reader is a professional text-to-speech program that converts any written text into spoken words. In other words, so that will read on continuously unless I say pause or stop. Um, I can as well adjust the speed, so I can speed it up. Natural Reader is a professional text to speak. Or slow it down. So you can adjust it to your own listening speed. Natural Reader is a professional text to speak. If I <clears throat> delete this out then, and just want to write my own text within it, Play. Hi, my name is Emma. I am showing you how to use text-to-speech software, Natural Reader. It's also helpful if, <clears throat> if you've got any spelling errors. Um, <clears throat> not that it will highlight, like spell check, but if you hear it, obviously it will sound wrong. Same with grammar. If you don't use that correctly, it will sound really strange and you'll know you need to make some corrections. The other good thing about the software is that you can import any documents in any format for it to be read. So that's PDF, Word docs, wherever you want. So if we open this now, no, nope, I don't want to save that. Um, so here's just a PDF I'm going to enter in. I've already added this before, so these are some of the old ones that I've added in. There's a Word doc, PDF again, so on. I can edit stuff in here as well, I don't want it to be read aloud. And then when I'm ready, play. Introduction, the aim of public international law. Bill, into. I can as well, obviously, whatever I've written in here, save as a, 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 a rich text document. They also can read ebooks. So these are some free ones I've got, if I choose one to read through. So here I've got Alice in Wonderland. And if I pop my cursor down, I'm going to adjust the speed a little bit more. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book? Thought Alice without pictures or conversation. So it's not quite as good as, you know, original audio books, but considering you can now, um, if you, you know, listen to it aloud, it's much easier than obviously reading generally. Um, if you do upgrade, and it will cost you a little bit of money, you get the um, also the, the, the added bonus of being able to convert this into an MP3 track, which means you can basically then put it on a smaller device like your phone, MP3 player, or maybe a CD for the car, um, and listen to it while you're out and about. So maybe traveling, walking, whatever you want. One other thing that I thought was quite useful about this, if I go back to my documents, that's, nope. this one I've got here, this Dragon 12, is from a user manual I've got, which if I show you, in a PDF. Oh, so here's the original. This is just something I've saved off the internet, and it's not editable. So I can't copy, I can't paste. I could probably print it and rescan it into Word, but you know, if this is 16 pages, that's going to take quite a while. Once this has been imported into the natural reader, if I then want to resave this, 
from here and go to save as, I can save it as a RTF file, rich text format. Which means then, although it won't look as pretty as it did in the original file, but I've now got it editable. So I can copy and paste and do things I couldn't do with it before. So that's an extra little bonus I found out with it. As I said, if you want to, you can upgrade. You will get some nicer voices, some British ones as well. These are ones I've already purchased from other programs, but I'll just give you um, a little intro of how they sound. So this is UK uh, English voice Serena. Introduction the aim of public international law, pill into the human rights, as regime was to enhance the relationship between diplomatic individuals and the state, equipping individuals with not only political and so there you go. Like I said, very quick to download, completely free. Um, if you want to have a look at the Mac one, then do look at, at the other video because it is set out a little bit different. But that's, yeah, natural reader, text-to-speech free software.